Hello guys, welcome to my updated tutorial on how to sample a Friday Night Funkin' Chromatic from just about anything you can imagine. So, what I have here is a little audio clip of me talking like, Man, I could really go for some ice cream right now. Woohoo! Like that. So... This is kind of like a different method, I I guess, from the other thing. So, what I want to do first is get like little clips of these vowels. Really, really, really go f cream right, cream right, cream right, cream right, cream right. Hmm. It's gonna take a while because. Cream. Like, not all of the samples that you get are going to be the clearest. Now, now, now. Ooh. I think four vowels, four distinct vowels should be enough. And I'm just going to kind of, like, order them right here. Um... So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click this, merge to clips, I'm gonna go here, and then these modes. Look at all these modes, woohoo. Um I'm gonna choose E3 mono and then Yeah <laughs> Just like that. And while I'm at it, I might as well compress the sample so that they're all the same volume. <laughs> As you can see, that sounds like fucking shit right now. So, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep stretching this. Merge clips again. What I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna cut it. Dull auto slicing. So that will be. Oop, oop. Uh, method uh, kind of just works like in a pinch in it and it does produce some pretty accurate sounding results to your source audio so I won't complain merge clips again and then what you have here uh, should be like about one bar of like vowel at like 140 bpm so i'm gonna go ahead edit that in pitch corrector just uh just fucking oh my bad my bad i still don't have editing software so this is gonna suck balls in production value, but I'm trying to treat. I'm, I'm trying to teach a valuable skill here, so just gonna go with like the minimum amount of si amount of slices for this tutorial because like nobody's trying to fucking sit through five whole octaves. Of pure fucking vowels. So I'm gonna go into Edison afterwards and then. You know, I. I would have just like sent the goddamn. Hold on. I would have just sent whatever I had a new tone to uh the, the fucking playlist if i actually had new tone like directly installed but woe is me woe is fucking me i guess uh so now i'm just sitting here waiting for this chromatic to basically finish recording
Yeah, you can like hear it in the background, right? Kind of just recording whatever. There we go. Okay, now that you have this, this little tuned thing, this little tuned thingamajig, uh, you're gonna actually wanna dull auto slice it again. And what you're gonna do is, you see these like little quiet parts of the vowel that the new tone did? You're gonna cut that out because you don't want that shit. You don't want that shit at all. It's gonna affect your chromatic in a very negative way when it's used in a song. So, yeah, get rid of that. And then, uh oh, your, your fucking vowel is too short. I wonder how to fix that. Because right now it sounds like this. Nobody's trying to use that. So what you're going to do, you're going to go over here. Uh, this time you're going to select either E3 or E2 generic, whichever one sounds better. And then you're going to go to time, click project tempo, and then just uh, fucking doop. Restretch this channel, and then until... Probably doesn't sound long enough. Let's lower this a bit more. There we go. That stretching might sound a bit wonky to the others, but I think it... It's kind of natural when it comes to like sounding like actual fucking singing, but you know. Let's go back to 140 BPM. And right now, what I'm thinking is, I want to compress this again, just so like, just so like everything's the same volume again. Because you don't want like different volumed vowels in your chromatic. That's gonna fuck the song up a lot. Trust me, I know a lot about that. So once you've consolidated that, go auto slice again. And just uh go ahead and cut out any unsavory parts that might sound weird in a song. Do this and that's pretty much uh once you merge these clips that should be your chromatic now i'm gonna go ahead open this in slice x see how it sounds when i just uh just maybe change that a little bit yeah, yeah, baby. Now you've made it. Now you've made a Friday Night Funkin' Chromatic from an audio source that you totally didn't record yourself for some fucking reason. I don't know. Uh, that's the tutorial. Uh, this is, again, this is a remake of another tutorial I did back in, like, 2022. So, hmm. Hopefully, I provided a better method and explained things a little more in-depth than last time. But that's pretty much it. Yeah. See you guys.